The acclaimed Zack Snyder's Justice League, often referred to as the Snyder Cut of the 2017 American superhero film, was released on March 18th and critics are already raving. The four hour long film was an absolute treat for the fans, especially for those who love the DC Extended Universe, and it was filmed in multiple countries to give awe inspiring backgrounds. You gotta wonder, where did they film all of this? Are these places real? Today we're gonna take a deep dive into the locations of the new Zack Snyder's Justice League. Released by Warner Brothers in 2017, the film suffered a difficult production to say the least. Its script underwent major changes before and during production between 2016 and 2017. In May 2017, Snyder stepped down during post-production following the death of his daughter and Joss Whedon was hired to finish the film, completing it as an uncredited director. Whedon oversaw a number of reshoots and other changes which resulted in mixed reviews and was ultimately a box office bomb. This led Warner Brothers to reevaluate the future of DC Extended Universe and focus development on individual films. As details surfaced about the film's troubled production and its state before Snyder stepped down, many fans expressed interest in an alternate cut more authentic to Snyder's vision. And that's where we get the nickname, The Snyder Cut. Fans were obviously stoked when they heard in May of 2020, Snyder announced that the original cut would be released as Zack Snyder's Justice League via streaming service HBO Max. It cost around $70 million to complete the visual effects, score, and editing, with new material filmed in October 2020, and the film is dedicated to the memory of his daughter, Autumn. In case you didn't know, Zack Snyder's Justice League takes place in Los Angeles, Chicago, London, Iceland, Greece, Latvia, and Monaco, and it definitely had a ton of memorable locations. What were these filming locations used for? What spots are included in these locations? We'll take a look. Hey guys, it's Kara the Vampire Slayer here for you on Famous Entertainment, and today we're trying something new-ish. We're gonna check out a recent hit movie that's been long in the works, Zack Snyder's Justice League, and break down the film locations. We'll see which of your favorite spots from the film actually exist and where, and maybe even some secret spots you had no idea about. Be sure to hit that subscribe button, ring that bell, and follow me on Instagram to chat. Now, let's get into this video. The Warner Brothers Studios, located on 4000 Warner Boulevard, Burbank, was used extensively for filming special effects and set pieces for the film, as well as for post-production. Being the home of Hollywood, LA County is an obvious choice as a place for filming, especially for productions like this superhero movie that need a ton of resources. The sleek neighborhood of Monterey Park, located in the western San Gabriel Valley region of LA County, was used to film a number of crowd scenes due to the nearby stadium. The town of Pasadena in California also features a brief appearance in the film. Fun fact, it was a bit of a homecoming for Zack Snyder as that's where he's from. Aerial views of the city of Chicago are used to depict Gotham City, though typically there's a substantial layer of CGI added to make the city look like the home of the fictional character Batman. Chicago is easy to recognize thanks to the diamond-shaped disguise of the Crane Communications Building. If this complex was real, it would be standing between Millennium Park and Maggie Daly Park. In fact, Chicago has been used as Gotham City dating back as far as Christopher Nolan's 2005 film Batman Begins. Scenes featuring Star Labs, which frequently appears in the DC Universe, have been filmed near Lake Michigan on reclaimed land, with digital edition of the building in post-production. A major chunk of the filming took place in the Warner Brothers Studios in Leavesden, England, roughly 20 miles from London. In fact, these happen to be the famous studios where the Harry Potter movies were filmed. Hello Hogwarts, one of my faves. Justice League made extensive use of studio sets and locations entirely created by CGI. The new scene with the Flash set in the fictional Central City was also filmed in a massive set built at Leavesden Studios. Also, a few more scenes taking place in the streets of Gotham City were recorded here. Prior to filming, large-scale sets of the Batcave and Superman's family home, Kent Farm, were built with the filming spread over six stages in the production facility. These sets were made to be the exact replica of the ones used in Batman vs. 
vs. Superman Dawn of Justice, based in Michigan Motion Picture Studios in Detroit. The Old Bailey Courthouse located in central London is seen in the sequence where terrorists enter the court with a bomb and are let down by Wonder Woman. The gorgeous interior lobby of this historical building, decorated with marble and statues, was completed in 1902. The courthouse is one of many central criminal court buildings located at the Old Bailey London. The Old Courthouse building was formerly part of Old London's fortification wall. The British Museum on Great Russell Street in Bloomsbury, London was used as the vintage backdrop for filming scenes in which Wonder Woman is interviewed. Fun fact, this location was also used in the 2017 film Wonder Woman. In one of the new added scenes for Zack Snyder's cut, Lois Lane, played by Amy Adams, leaves a restaurant when it starts raining. The shot was filmed at the Fred and Ginger Coffee at 38 High Street in King's Langley, a small village in Hertfordshire near London. So if you're ever in the neighborhood, you can pop by there for a visit. About 50 miles from London, you'll find the massive Cardington airship hangars in Bedfordshire, England. Located within a convenient distance from the studios, Superman's family farmhouse in Smallville, was built at this Bovingdon airfield. This former Royal Air Force station in Hertfordshire was served as a filming location for Bohemian Rhapsody, Fast and the Furious 6, Rogue One, and 1917, among many other productions. The lake where Bruce Wayne has his modern villa is located at the Biological Reserve at South Hill Lake and Woods in Bedfordshire. Cast and crew were filming in the Shorts building in Shortstown near Bedford. It was shown briefly in the background of a TV news show when Diana Prince is working in the Louvre's Antiquities Department in Paris. However, this section was removed from the new version. The Lutton Who estate also appears in the credits of the movie, but it seems that it didn't make it to the new cut. The old Frogmore paper mill in Apsley near Hemel Hempstead, which is an industrial heritage site in Hertfordshire, is featured in the scene where Bruce Wayne goes to recruit the Flash. It's the oldest mechanical paper mill in the world, which has been used for theater productions, including the rock musical Rent. Located in northwest Iceland, the village of Djupavik was used as a location to portray the remote fishing village where Batman finds Aquaman and recruits him into the Justice League. Fun fact, the 200 member film crew had to set up their own camp here since there were not enough accommodation options in the village. For filming the scene above a waterfall overlooking the village where Batman meets Aquaman, cast and crew members as well as heavy camera equipment were airlifted 1,000 feet above the village by a helicopter. The fictional sovereign state of Themyscira, I think that's how you pronounce it, home of the Amazons, is actually Milos Island in Greece, in the Aegean Sea. The location is in the scene featuring the theft of the mysterious cube they are guarding in a shot in Cleftico Bay, which was once a hideout for pirates. Skrunta 1 is actually a small military ghost town from the Soviet era that formerly housed a Russian radar station and was used to depict the home of the film's antagonist, Steppenwolf. Now, instead of transporting all the crew and equipment, the town was extensively photographed and then digitally recreated for the movie. Making three-dimensional scans, this sort of Chernobyl-looking area from the US USSR times was the source of inspiration for the village in Russia where the last battle takes place. The post credit scenes with Max Luther and Deathstroke on board the Icon yacht was filmed off of the coast of Monaco, the small European city state. Of course, there are probably more notable spots in the Zack Snyder Justice League film. However, Zack Snyder perfectly captured some of the most stunning film locations on the planet, it seems. What did you guys think? which was the nicest or coolest looking spot from the movie. It's interesting to see what Snyder was able to do with an extra budget of $70 million to revamp the visual effects, score editing, and also for filming new footage. This is a new series, so if you liked it, be sure to let me know what other films we should cover, whether they're throwbacks or brand new ones. We also did one on one of my classic faves, Pulp Fiction, so be sure to check that out, but there are so many I wanna know about. Thanks for watching, don't forget to follow me on Instagram, and I will see you all in the next video. Bye.